The answer to that is no. I am not perfect. There's many reasons that that's my answer, but what we're focusing on today is I've been going too easy for this cut. You know, I haven't made too much progress on the scale. You know, going into week four, I'm expecting the scale to read differently. So time to pick things up. Changes are gonna be four sessions of 300 calories burned of cardio. So bumping each session up 100 calories. Macros will stay the same, but if that does change, I'll let you guys know. So headed to do arms, abs, and cardio all right now. Got a busy day. Going to Seton Hall to work out to do arms, so hopefully I'll be film, I'll be able to film as much as possible. And it is cold. Normally I would do chest and back today, but I did that on Monday. So arms today, and hopefully I'll be able to get a lot filmed. I don't know why I'm out of breath, so I'm gonna go see you guys inside the gym. Don't worry, I have showered. This is a clean sweatshirt. I know it looks like I just walked out of the gym, but I haven't. It is about three o'clock sitting out of the elementary school waiting for the kids to get out for work, being proactive and getting this workout commentary done right now so that I don't have to worry about too late tonight because I do have to work late tonight and I need to run by the grocery store afterwards but I'll take you guys through that so just being proactive getting this done why do you have the time to sit here but I wanted to do this voiceover one talk about my workout two haven't done the voiceover in a while and three kind of go over the title and why I did that I did mention about the title kind of in the beginning but not too much into detail but basically we're into week four of this prep and you know I'm looking back at all my recap videos I've been way too soft way too easy on myself and it's time to step it up make some changes to things and really hold myself accountable because at week four I definitely thought I'd be a lot further into this I knew there would be a lot of variables that would play into it but I need to start picking it up a little bit you know be tougher on myself hold myself more accountable so looking back at those recap videos I wish I had done a little bit more with them but now is the time so I'm going to take you guys through some changes that I've made macros are probably going to stay about the same carbs were about 250 255 might keep that at 250 and below just kind of see how I feel throughout the day but as I mentioned before cardio is going to four sessions all 300 calories so Today, that took me about 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. That's where we're going to keep it to, see if that works. It's time to step it up. But, now jumping into this workout, it was very good. I was actually able to film everything that I did. Started off with abs, and really make sure that you guys are warming up your abs, because just like any other muscle group, you want them to be warm. You're not going to go jump into your heaviest set. So what I did to start off abs was a minute plank, 20 leg raises, and then like 20 scissor kicks, whatever you want to call that. Did that three times. Give yourself some rest in between. And then I did some side extensions, whatever. I don't really know what you want to call them, but it's going to work your obliques. I had a 25 pound plate there and I did three sets of 15 for each side. Did that again, make sure you're giving yourself some rest. Then I also did some like leg raises, but on kind of the ball machine and I had the 10 pound dumbbell between my legs for the first 10 and then the second 10 was just the free weight so that's 20 leg raises whatever you want to call it got that done definitely felt the burn in my abs starting to see my abs come out a lot more which is a great feeling because I've always had abs so it's nice to see them starting to get more defined also with abs and holding myself more accountable I'm going to be doing abs every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Holding myself to that. So today is Wednesday. Got that done. Also did them on Monday. So now I just need to do it on Friday. Then getting into the arm workout. To start off when I do arms, I always like to do pull-ups and dips with the assisted machine. So there's some 
weight to help me, but it's also good to help me warm up. So three sets of 10 for each. I did not get that on film, but that's just how I like to start off. And then I'm not really sure what to call this, but I'm doing bicep curls and tricep extensions. And what I really liked about this workout is as you'll see, is I stayed in the same spot of the gym the entire time. Just used the same cable, maybe different tools on the cables, but you can get in and out of your workouts if you just plan ahead. You know, I stayed right there. I only had to have my camera in one spot. So what this curls and extensions are is just to get the blood flowing. Nick Bear from Bear Performance talks about this in his videos a lot with his leg days. Instead of starting off your compound movement, squats, or like deadlifts, he likes to pre exhaust the muscle. So he'll do leg curls, leg extensions first to get the blood flowing kind of pre-exhaust your muscle and I really like that idea. So what I've been doing with my arm workout, instead of giving into heavy weights right away, I like to just get the blood flowing. So really light weight on the cable. I like to do it with like the preacher curl bar, but they don't have it at school. So I just have the kind of straight bar, which isn't bad, just use whatever you have. You're gonna do 12 sets, just the bicep curl, really focus on the squeeze at the top. As Soon as you're done the 12, reverse your grip and you're gonna pull up. So your hand, instead of like this, you're gonna be out. So getting a lot of your forearms and you're gonna be weaker at that. So that's why you want to keep the weight light, very light. As soon as you're done that 12, adjust the cable so you can do tricep push downs. You're gonna do regular tricep push downs again 12 and then you're gonna do a reverse grip. So when you're pushing it down, you're going like this to start. Then you're gonna flip your grip so it's down. Again, you'll probably be weaker that way too because people don't do that very often. But 12 sets of that. So it's 24 reps for each for your bicep and your tricep, you wanna keep it light because you're going one right after the other. Rest for about you know two and a half minutes and then do the same thing again. So I did that three times, really gets the blood flowing, gets you a nice pump early into the workout. So I was really happy with that. Then to hit my triceps, I did overhead rope extensions, three sets of 15. Keeping these kind of light and just focusing on the lockout at the top. I really like doing this, doesn't give me any elbow problems. So I highly recommend that for anyone else who sometimes feels you know, pressure in your elbow, maybe like some tendonitis, whatever. This really helps and eliminated that for me. Then I did a dumbbell hammer curl, focusing on the slow and control on the way down and squeezing at the top. Again, that was three sets of 12. Everything was at least three sets and in the 12 to 15 rep range. And then also I, I finished off with, everything was super setted too as well. Finished off with tricep, kick, tricep kickbacks with the cables. Again, staying in the same place of the gym the whole time. You know, got in and out of there. For that, I did four sets of 15. and super set of that with the cable curl. Again, just focusing on that squeeze. That was all that today's workout was for. And that one was four sets, 10 to 15 reps. Very good, highly recommend it. Got my cardio done, 300 calories after that. I was exhausted, but it was great. I'm really happy with how that workout went. I highly recommend that for you guys um, if you are interested in getting a new arm workout. I'll show you guys how I write everything down. If you count the pull-ups and the dips, it's about four exercises each. But again, try to stay at least, you know, three, four sets and like 10 to 15 rep range and you'll definitely get a lot of good pump. Gonna be sore tomorrow. But that's going to do it for this workout commentary. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Just the reason behind this video is, you know, I always promise you guys that will be motivational, inspirational, a place that you guys can come for all that stuff, and that will never change. But I also want to show that, you know, I am not perfect. Like, my days aren't always that great. You know, I get down about things easily. It happens to the best of us, so no, I'm not perfect. And I haven't been per perfect through this prep. I need to step things up. I need to start really st seeing some progress both physically and on the scale that's kind of why i made this video that's why the title is what it is i am not perfect holding myself accountable stepping things up gonna see re more results in week four and i'm very excited for that show you guys all the changes but again hopefully you guys enjoyed this thank you please give a thumbs up if you did enjoy it see you guys later in the video
nice and easy grocery pickup. Done work. It is 7.30 already. Gonna go have my last meal. Probably combine it to one meal. I have like two meals left. Probably combine it to two. one. Sorry, can't talk. Been a long day, but a very good day. Very productive. Getting things done, which is a great thing. Crossing things off the list, which is also a good thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and kind of understood why I said the title. You know, things do come up, you know. Everything's not gonna be great, but I try to be as positive as I can so this can be a place that you guys can come to and get positive positivity. <laughs> really can't talk today. You know, an inspiration, just a place to go and you know, I can pick you up sometimes if you need it. So please give this video a like if you did enjoy it. Thank you guys so much. I did say I was gonna give an update on the numbers and I believe we need about 30 more followers on Instagram and I think about 30 subscribers on YouTube as well. So we're looking at 30 and 30. I'm thinking we should get that within this week, next week. So make sure you're sharing these videos, you know, telling your friends so we can get to those giveaways. Again, it'll be two giveaways, Instagram and YouTube. It'll be very exciting and just kind of thank you guys for helping us get this far because really I would not be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And as always, have a great day.